I V M. How to Citizen is an I V M production, and if you like the show, you should also check out other I V M shows like Cyrus Says, a show hosted by the funny man Cyrus Brocha, where he chats with people that come from various walks of life. It's the definitive show on urban life, culture, politics, sports, civic sense, traffic, kids, food, and much more. New episodes every Monday and Thursday on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast dot com, or wherever you get your podcast from. Hello and welcome to How to Citizen. I am Meghnaad. Today we are dealing with Chapter Two, which is on our favorite subject in India. secularism no it's actually secularism but you know what i mean today we have some excellent guests with us srishti dikshit and andre borges from buzzfeed india they are going to discuss with us what does secularism even mean what does secularism mean pseudo secularism mean and what does secularity mean all three terms are different apparently srishti talks about having immersive experiences Andre talks about how he has no idea who ran his school. He doesn't know the powers that shaped him basically, so that's fun. And we talk about how secularism is actually applied on our society and whether it works at all. In this episode, we also forcefully build up tension towards a giant twist in the tale of secularism. Watch out for that. Apart from that, there is lots of talks about starting a new religion and worshiping a flying spaghetti monster. I hope you have fun. So let's get schooling and let's get schooled. Hi guys. Hi. Episode 2. Hi. 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 We have some excellent guests today. Uh we have Shrishti Dikshit. Woo! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. And we have Andre. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we have Shreyas, of course, who is not a guest and a co-host. Woohoo! Yeah, woo-hoo. thank you. <laughs> I think everyone should the have the sound. Saddest, saddest yeah. woohoo ever. Woohoo! Shristi, apart from hearing your voice and being obsessed with it, uh, I'm not obsessed. With it. <laughs> I'm just I'm projecting with, my like, okay. thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? So I'm Shristi. I make videos for BuzzFeed India. I'm a video producer. I also act in those videos. I also write those videos. I've now started to edit those videos, and I'm also like a public figure on oh Instagram and all, yeah. an influencer. Yeah. yeah, that's my job. Yeah. So you have an influencer. An influencer. Yeah. Hey, you're allowed to plug things throughout this podcast. Just letting. You know. I, I have nothing to plug. Okay. I, currently, I'm only plugging myself. Listen, Shreyas, but I'm ambitious. Not here. ऐसे थोड़ी स्पॉन्सर्स आ जाएंगे मेहनत करनी पड़ती है आंद्रे कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ प्लीज आई प्रॉब्ली शुड गोन फर्स्ट बिकॉज दिस इज गोन साउंड रियली वियर आई एम आंद्रे बॉजिस आई एम ऑल्सो अ वीडियो प्रोड्यूसर विद बज फीड आई करंटली रन डायलॉग विच इज बज फीड इंडिया इज कल्चरल एंड सोशल एंड पोलिटिकल हब Right. Where we do content that's related to social issues, um, weird things that India is obsessed with, fun things that our government is doing a little bit here and there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I also write, uh, act in, and produce videos while also producing other things that are done by a lot of the other producers. Amaze, amaze, amaze! Welcome, guys! Amaze to How to Citizen. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you one more question? Of course. If I were to ask you the same question, who are you? Who is Shrishri or who is An Andre in eighth grade? What do you think your answer would be? What were you guys doing in eighth grade? Let's pick a scene. It's the second oh. break. It's the short break. What are you guys doing? Oh, interesting. You want to go first? I would always get one break, <laughs> <laughs> which is a lunch break. <laughs> like that's all the breaks. But uh, I don't know what Andre would be doing. He would probably be like. Playing, I guess, playing football. It is quite accurate. <laughs> it, was, it was anarchy. It was like um, so. My school had multiple grounds, like big football fields. Plus, we had a huge hockey field, and we had two basketball courts. And you had privilege, lots of privilege, <laughs> so but, much of it. But no bar, intelligence bar because everyone would play on one ground. So it was. Hundred, two hundred students just running around. No one knows who's playing which football game, which cricket game is going on. Everyone's just running around. In and this was our first, like our short recess. Right. So the whole day is left, but oh. we've come back muddy, tired, sweaty, <laughs> and ready to sleep. 
so it was uh, <laughs> it was zoo, anarchy it's a zoo basically yeah. yeah shashti what were you doing in break you want to venture a guess uh <laughs> So you only had one break, like I lunch was break. eating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was eating. Yeah, I was eating in that break and talking to my friends. Oh, yeah. the but talking to your friends. But in eighth grade, it was a, a sensitive time for me personally oh, yeah. because uh, uh, all our uh, like you know how sections get divided. Like right. A section is all science students, B is all commerce, right. C is like who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just here, and you're like just give, giving money, but like we don't care. So I was in the C section, obviously. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> uh, it was tragic because all my friends were in other sections and it was just like terrible. So I would like cry and eat alone. Amazing. But during break, I would like obviously meet them. Right. But enter the break crying. So in our <laughs> school, it was a similar sort of a system oh, yeah. where we were divided, but it was based on languages, right? Oh. So all oh, the all the A grade A grade people were Sanskrit people. Mm. 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 Uh, C grade were Marathi pure. Mm. <laughs> and B grade in a weird way was Hindi and Marathi mix. Okay. So I was in Hindi and Marathi mix, That's right? So nice and uh, it was basically the kids who could not make up their mind about anything in life. So basically, your C grade, your B grade, <laughs> yeah, lost college. <laughs> and Shreyas was in the same school. I was in the same school, but we had a different dynamic. By the time uh, you left, there were six sections: A, B, C, D, E, F. You, Holy you know crap! The, you okay, know yeah. the, <laughs> e F E F. How many? I've no never one, heard of an no, E F. No one cared about E F. A B C D was Sanskrit, and E F yeah. was uh, either Hindi or Marathi, which I think has. There's like some casteist overtones there. If all the Sanskrit <laughs> oh, yeah. kids are in the four sections where yeah. they are treated well, and no one gives a shit about E or F section, so that was a little problematic. Uh, Amazing majority ruling over minority guys. <laughs> Always <laughs> like a dynamic. But where were you? Like where did you go to school? Uh, in Nagpur. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. How yeah. many students were in each class? Like, uh, 40, like 40 students in each class. Wow. Yeah. And okay. it was nursery to 12th. So oh, okay. it was... Yeah, it was a huge school. We went yeah. to a huge school. So okay. we went to the same school. Okay. And uh, we were we are both from Nagpur. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a fun school. So when I left, uh, it mm. was a cruel place. When he went, it was a cruel place. <laughs> like, so nothing much not changed. grow at all. <laughs> Just that more... Fodder for being cruel, <laughs> right? <laughs> Clearly, yeah. yeah. They got better at it. Yeah. They got better yeah. at it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, guys, I want to ask you, uh, Shristi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, describe a place where you would hang out with your friends in school. Um, mostly I would like hang out with them in class. In, in class. Yeah. I I wasn't like I didn't play sports and all. Right. There was only one break. I and that. that's the yeah, <laughs> yeah. In class we are eating and that's it. <laughs> when, is there was there was there a specific dedicated corner? In you? the back. In the all back. the way in the back. All the near way in the, the back. near a window. Near ah. a window. Yeah. yeah. Like chilling, looking yeah. out. What everything. was the view out of the window? There were swings right outside the window. Like you could see like uh, smaller children playing. Like nice. we were the adults, right. young adults in right. the school. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we could see like children playing, and the canteen was right there, yeah. and people would be eating samosas. Yeah. So like it was hustle bustle. Okay, which cities, cities do you go, did you go to in Kanpur? Kanpur. Kanpur. Yeah. Bombay. Bombay. So imagine we are sitting there. Okay. All four of us. In the corner. Was a mixed group allowed to sit there? That's an important question. Mixed group. Yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls. Boys and girls. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not a, not yeah. A no, because uh, you know, in we my were still pure in eighth grade. <laughs> there was no dirty, dirty feelings <laughs> yet. So it was fine. No, yeah. because in, in eighth grade, I remember we still had that chhi ladkiya mm. kind of you know, attitude. So okay. ladke would hang out separately. Ladkiya would hang out separate. And then somewhat like the alphas of the both groups would sometimes go to this group and come back with messages. Right. So, oh, it was a great dialogue. That's highly political. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am glad Kanpur is more progressive Kanpur than Nagpur. Yeah. yeah, sounds way more progressive. Yeah. <laughs> is Kan more progressive than a Nak? You think our ears more progressive than noses? If we had to think about body organs in terms of their progressiveness. <laughs> Why should? <laughs> why would I? Why would I even go there? See, these are the kind of questions. If you're sitting in Shristi's corner, you get beaten up. I get beaten. <laughs> but it's a good so throw. Right throw this at I would, you. I would say yours. Yours. Because they listen more, I guess, and learn more about things. But your nose can smell get... the bullshit. But also, so, ah, ah, but also, it calls it out. Yeah. A nose sneezes. <laughs> a nose sneezes. An ear doesn't take up any space at all. When have you ever heard an ear make a sound? Wow. What do you mean a sneeze is taking up? 
space. <laughs> a sneeze takes it's a space in a conversation. It's released into vacuum. Right? It's going away as you release it out of your body. But everyone in the room knows that you sneezed. You took up space. That's their, their problem. <laughs> <laughs> If I have to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. You got to do what you got to do. So amazing. Uh, Shristi's corner conversation happening. <laughs> But guys, we have a viva tomorrow. I'm oh, sorry. Oh God. I'm okay. going to be that douche. <laughs> There's always one. Like, yeah. We're going to remind you. Revise कर ले यार. कर ले यार. कर exam में यार बहुत tension. And you're probably the guy who doesn't even need to revise. You just need to see yeah. us failing at all the questions so that yeah. you get to feel better about yourself. Yeah. I feel this is coming from a place of so much hate and contempt <laughs> for some random kids in my class. <laughs> <laughs> all the toppers, not personal. Yeah. All of you all. So, guys, uh, we are going on chapter two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it is called understanding secularism. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm ready. And uh, <laughs> I'm just going to read the introduction before we get into it. Right. Yes. Feel free to make snarky comments about this <laughs> when I'm doing secularism it. Secularism is great. <laughs> But Why the movie? introduction is amazing balls. So. <laughs> Uh, imagine yourself as a Hindu or Muslim living in a part of the United States of America where Christian fundamentalism is very powerful. Okay, imagine, imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine it's well, yes. it's you don't it's reality. It's yeah, is, it's not imagining. This is like meta level imagination because yeah. we are in already in our corner. Yeah, now we are imagining further. <laughs> Suppose that despite being a U.S. citizen, one no one is willing to rent their house to you. How would this make you feel? Would it not make you feel resentful? What if you decided to complain against this discrimination and were told to go back to India? That's terrible. <laughs> Would this not make you feel angry? Yeah. It's also nice they've assumed we're from <laughs> India. Yeah. <laughs> like no, no they're teaching it in India, so sure. Then why aren't they taking the example of India? Yeah. <laughs> why are we in United States in the first place? They're just like we detach ourselves. Yeah. First. Yeah. Like I feel wash our hands of any responsibility quickly and then we'll get into it. No, guys, it's amazing because uh, by giving this example, they are giving. It's a very woke book, as you must have realized. Of course, because of course. Because they are giving you hints about go to Pakistan. Yes. <laughs> In the US, India seems to be the Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> if you look at the US, they're like, hey, go to India. Yeah. And when they come to India, they're like, hey, go, they to go to Pakistan. <laughs> where do in Pakistan? Where do people tell people to go? <laughs> Just go to your house. Yeah, go as back home. As inside as possible. Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> I feel this is a textbook version of saying, you know, how when you're embarrassed to talk about your own problems, so you say, you know, I have a friend and he has this infection <laughs> yeah. on his stomach and it's like a big red blue line. I think it's exactly. Do you yeah. have a red blue? Line? No, my friend. It's not me. It's just my friend. <laughs> so, uh, would this not make you feel angry? I'm your so anger. Angry. could take two forms first you might react by saying that christians should get the same treatment in places where hindus and muslims are in majority what the fuck that's a really vicious thing <laughs> yeah. to arrive at right vicious. off the bat introduction of the chapter like if i you should be discriminated you come to my house yeah you, you come, come to my house and i'll show you discrimination come <laughs> this is a form of retaliation yeah, yeah. it's just Or, vicious you might take the view that there should be justice for all You may fight, stating that no one should be discriminated against on ground of their religious practices and beliefs. <laughs> This statement rests on the assumption that all forms of domination related to religion should end. So many disclaimers. Yeah, <laughs> This statement rests on the assumption. <laughs> Q. <laughs> Q. <laughs> This is the essence of secularism. In this chapter, you will read more about what this means in the Indian context. Yeah, because yeah, it's different yeah, everywhere. Like Indian, different, different everywhere. I like how they give you two ways this can play out. But the f- option one is like you also discriminate against people. <laughs> like why? Don't even. If option one doesn't work, then we'll see about option two. And it never clarifies which option is the one you should take. Yeah, it just never, says two never. options. Yeah, whatever you want. And like these are students, right? They'll read the first thing and be like, "Yeah, we'll do this. Why this should we read for them?" Chalo, agla or canteen mein. Yeah, <laughs> ready. If you're an eighth standard student, the first option definitely sounds more agreeable because a more fun for an eighth grader, b shorter point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, नहीं करना पड़ता. Why would I read more? <laughs> Uh, guys, uh, to the listeners, I would like to tell them that if you want an immersive experience of this podcast, it is possible. You okay. Sounds so dirty. Yeah. It, why is it? Why is it sounding like a immersive experience? Wash. <laughs> Uh, sure. If you want an immersive experience of this podcast, please go to IVM Podcast. dot com slash How to Citizen. Where you will get a Google Drive link where we have uploaded all the chapters we are reading from. So we are on chapter two. So just download it. And while we are doing this, you can have that 
Immersive experience. Immersive <laughs> experience. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Shishi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You made it sound way more sleepier. <laughs> So right off the bat if I can uh, yeah. say something what I really like about this textbook is how honest it is like in the on the first page itself it ends a paragraph with in India can the state discriminate against citizens on the grounds of their religion question mark <laughs> <laughs> can it can it kisko par and then it's gone on to ask another question what, what is, is secularism, secularism? <laughs> Uh, so guys uh, what what is your overall impression after reading this chapter 24 hours ago i sent it to you yeah yeah, yeah. Nice, so nice. what is your good clarification yeah. i read it yes. an hour back yeah, like a proper student amazing. class amazing. Okay, last okay. minute yeah. rakta mara main so ke shristi bhai va kal hai okay Secularism is good. We should all be doing it. Why are we not doing it? These are the kind of nuanced observations that I'm here for. That's what. Yeah, this is what you call me for. Um, yeah. I think uh, it is such a simple concept to mm. understand. Mm. It's just don't discriminate based on religion. Right. But it complicates itself so much as you keep reading it. Yeah. Like an in Indian context is different. Mm. You, the government will intervene. Mm. but not interfere yeah. and it just there are so many caveats to it but yeah. actually there shouldn't be because it's basic just basic. don't hate because of religion that's right. all absolutely so yeah and f- to do that to children and like just kind of muddle it muddle up in their, head. in their head like it's they'll grow up with a confused understanding of the word that's true yeah. and, but but the thing is you know um, i i it's funny but uh, i i was uh, doing some research on random things and i was like uh, asking a few questions to my parents etc whoever i could find what is secularism hmm. right so right. Uh, one who is a super sanghi went on a rant about how oh pakistani aake humko kha jayenge and you know what <laughs> 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 obviously pakistan to had to be involved so i said secularism ke bare mein pucha to zero marks right so <laughs> and then uh, uh so there were a few people who were like no separation of state and church hmm. somewhere hmm. like you know so but but I, what i found was everybody has a different definition of secularism yeah right yeah i think the base understanding is like right mm. which is like don't discriminate mm. but i don't know i didn't find it so convoluted i thought it was like we should give this to all the people in power currently <laughs> and like just let them read it yeah. yeah little bit not even like be like hey you have to like just it's on your table yeah. just try once Eighth in a while eighth graders read this yes. <laughs> you maybe, can't maybe. you'll enjoy it yeah. trust me <laughs> but um Yeah I think there are a lot of definitions to it but like the base understanding has to be there Absolutely yeah but the thing is you know like uh, nowadays the concept is getting so convoluted right yeah. so yeah. when we define secularism which we will in our own words mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because that is what the chapter is about mm. uh, but uh, there is another a few terms we need to define as well pseudo secular <laughs> so <laughs> after mm-hmm. reading this mm. do you think pseudo secular even makes sense What is it exactly? Can you so explain it? Exactly, I can't because if <laughs> <laughs> that's what so I'm BS yes, basically. Yeah, okay. I've been confused because uh, so you know people like Arnab Goswami etc. use this term a lot. Mm-hmm. You know oh, all these you know secular people. Mm-hmm. What he essentially means is that they are not secular or they're fake secular, right? Okay. But if people don't have a definition of secular in their head, mm. what is he even talking about? He's just saying that they are not. secular so why is pseudo attached right. to it right exactly just say not secular just not secular <laughs> the other one which is a bastardized version of it is secular oh yeah secular, secular yeah, i kind yeah, yeah. of yeah. like that that's a funny one Secular. Yeah. Secular. yeah. I like the sound of it, not the implications of it. Yeah. Just the sound. Just the musicality. Just <laughs> <laughs> secular. Um so yeah, okay. So uh, let us get into the chapter, hmm. right? And we will start right off with what is secularism? Right. Who's, <laughs> who's to say in today's day and age? <laughs> so guys, what is secularism? Uh, first tell me what what do you think according to you but now you've read the chapter so yes. it will be according to that according to the no still according to me yeah we've forgotten what's yeah. in the chapter yeah. <laughs> i know some words some yeah <laughs> you say something in the... my trigger or something yeah. <laughs> like if i say oh you'll be like oh oh yeah <laughs> yeah so shrishti tell us what is secularism it's quite simple to understand it's just don't discriminate don't take away people's rights based on what religion they are mm. practicing right and uh, yeah just don't hate based on that thing about yeah. them 
It's just weird. Yeah. Did you notice they have used the word tolerance in a mind? Yeah, yeah. Bit. Like just, just sehen kar lo, <laughs> accept mat karo. <laughs> but sehen lo ki wo hai. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tolerance is a bad word. It's not a good word. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Andre. Uh, yeah. Similar. Basically, don't. discriminate specifically on the basis of i mean don't hmm. discriminate at all hmm. but like in this case religion yeah. and uh, to allow everyone to practice their own religion yeah. to not interfere oh we can't use the word interfere with the government can right or oh, they can the intervene state, Inter- the, state right. the, the state can intervene yeah, yeah. and uh, just let people live like don't be like yeah just don't be like mera religion tere religion se zyada chamakta hai just you can't be like that <laughs> shreyas um I don't think there is a meaning for the word secularism today because this might be like a classic postmodern lament but I feel there's so much difference now between what secularism signifies and the actual signifier that is secularism that I feel we have to come up with a new word that is supposed to define the ideas that secularism stands for Hi RSS मतलब एक तो आर एस एस है ऊपर से बहुत नर्ट चाइल्ड है तो मार खाएगा प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ टेरनी इट्स रिलीफ अगेंस्ट बींग सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बींग सब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ पावर और बींग सब्जेक्ट being a phantom of a power in any way where you have the freedom to practice whatever you want without so you're saying eradicate religion as a concept no i'm not saying eradicate religion as a concept i'm saying it should be equalized to such an extent that it doesn't matter what religion you practice and you can do that without any repercussions or fears basically so that's what it yeah. means that's now. the definition that's what it means yeah, i was scared <laughs> so i had to come back to like the regular definition <laughs> he's okay. describing utopia <laughs> yeah it is utopian basically the uh, understanding of uh, secularism which i got the most when mm. i asked that question on twitter also or hundreds of responses one was constant is separation of church and state yeah. right which is right. what they talk about yeah. well, right? right and uh, yahan pe temple and state hoga maybe no religion. state and religion religion is yeah. religion yeah, yeah. Uh, but but uh, so what what do you think that means like separation of church and state like that the state doesn't get to decide how you practice your religion yeah, and doesn't have a say in how exactly. you choose to absolutely and doesn't it, yeah. Uh, yeah and doesn't diminish your right to practice your right religion. so essentially you know like i can just uh, read out from that portion oh but that is indian secularism i can't read that out yet <laughs> because we have not arrived there yet <laughs> okay. i have something to talk about can we talk yeah. about the image that we have on the first page here yeah, on okay. page number 19 yeah so mm-hmm. in this image uh, for our listeners who can't see <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, unless you have a textbook and you are diligent uh, with the work for an immersive experience. For immersive, <laughs> immersive. In this Back. image, there's uh, there are three kids, one chasing a football, the other chasing the guy with the football, and the third guy behind them with a slab. <laughs> oh, that's what's happening! Wait, what is it? I could not tell that. What the first what time else I could it be? I I don't know. I thought it was like a... I thought they were all playing football and this guy is just holding up a supportive placard. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I thought it was like a sign. Yeah. Wow, that's so, so much like, yeah, more. Go guys! Or <laughs> so much nicer and wholesome than what I was thinking. Or he's the goal. He's <laughs> like you know, like like a makeshift goal. like makeshift goal, right? Like when your kids you. मुझे लगा मैंने किया था वो एक कोई मिठाई वाला है जो मिठाई बेचने इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अलाउज इंडिविजुअल फ्रीडम टू लिव बाय देर रिलीजियस बिलीव एंड प्रैक्टिस एज दे interpret these yeah. right you know right. so essentially as shishti said and put it rightly hmm. uh, our state hmm. allows us hmm. or is supposed to allow us hmm. to uh, ideally must ideally yeah. must uh, allow us to practice our religions yeah. in whatever way we want yeah. but then you know that's the thing so like uh, as we were discussing yes the difference between government and state yes have you understood what i told you Yes, <laughs> it was more like a lecture, not, not, not a discussion. <laughs> no, but can you elaborate on that a little bit? On what? the difference between government, yeah, like what what we were uh, discussing earlier. So 
whenever i was talking about the state i was falling into the trap of only talking about the ruling party and criticizing mm-hmm. the ruling party but what meghnath you pointed out to me that that is just for hopefully it's going to end in one year or it's going to be there for four more years but what we are really talking about is the institution it's the mm-hmm. government it's the framework of laws and ideas that operate the yeah. whole country yeah. and not a party because Which parties are ephemeral government is there always yeah exactly right. so basically uh, the when they say church and state hmm. what they essentially mean is not the ruling party hmm. right right, right. The it, they mean the structure of basically hmm. governance hmm. that we have hmm. so that needs to be separated so the technically what they're trying to say is secularism means hmm. that uh, one should not have anything to do with the other hmm. right so they should be able to independently chinese wall function whatever, yeah. function by themselves hmm. but then There hmm. is a twist in the tail. Of course, oh. there is. Oh. Welcome to India. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, again, I am teasing people a lot Just before we go to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is it important to separate religion from the state? Hmm. Why do you think so? Is this I, I vaguely remember. <laughs> <laughs> I've re- I read this like an hour ago. Dude, anyway. um, uh, listen. Minorities. <laughs> um it's so that the state or the government can't really impose laws or like basically make it so that other like the minorities <laughs> uh can't practice the religion freely and yeah. without any kind of uh, basically to prevent uh, tyranny Yeah. yeah yeah basically tyranny yeah. majority ruling over yeah, minority they use the word coercion and But they have used tyranny yeah. this tyranny of majority Tyrann- could result in discrimination coercion uh-huh. and yeah. at times even killing of religious minority oh my god kafi woke book quite on the nose yeah, so yeah. so pretty on the nose kafi kafi but but again uh, the picture beside that is uh, amazing again like they are on earth and they are so <laughs> big everyone is Huge. They are bigger Gravity than the beautiful. radius of the Earth. No, you can't. Where's India? Like you exactly. can't even see even in on the Earth. Like shouldn't India have been visible, you, or any country for that you, matter? There's no, a big pool no, in the middle. Still not. I think to show a secular image, you have to have India on the other side, and not on the side <laughs> of the image that shows. So, dis- to describe the image for our listeners who are not having the Immersive experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a, a picture. So someone asked this child to hmm. draw secularism, hmm. and he thought, "Huh? World, <laughs> banado, Earth without like weird continents, whatever." Yeah. And Indians are <laughs> taken over. Yeah, <laughs> this is domination by Indians of the Earth. People standing on the Earth. Yeah. yeah. So you do realize when he drew this, he went like this, <laughs> <laughs> drawing this person to person. <laughs> that's amazing so yeah but but yeah so basically the whole point is that uh, you know why is it important to separate religion and state hmm. is because you don't want to be in a situation where our unity and diversity hmm. gets yeah. you know like <laughs> diversity <laughs> gets uh, uh, broken yeah. yeah it's compromised it's compromised you know what now that i think about this image it's actually i like this image more now because i really think it's a very optimistic definition of secularism because what it's basically saying is that just to accommodate citizens to accommodate people so that they are standing uprightly you move the whole world you rotate all of earth just so that people are standing in their places no man it just means they, if you like stop worrying about like religious differences and all you can as indians take over the world yeah. it literally just means yeah. that yeah. you can stand on top of it yeah. if you forget all of this nonsense and like just so live your up. lives <laughs> it it means he drew the world first and then he's like acha where to put the people now yeah. so put them around the world that's all it means <laughs> um so it says another reason that it is important to separate religion from the state in democratic societies which is ours yeah. ours is a democratic society yeah, yeah. is yeah. it really really yeah. shook Unsure. shook right now by yeah. <laughs> in a democratic societies is because we also need to protect the freedom of individuals to exit from their religion mm-hmm. embrace another religion mm-hmm. or have freedom to interpret religious teachings differently mm. basically civics book 8th grade is telling us ghar wapsi is okay <laughs> 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 I mean, love jihad and ghar wapsi both. <laughs> like, it's like to be there or my other day. Yeah, it's fine. It's chill. Exchange offer. Can do this. Yeah. But also now that we are on the topic, love jihad is a myth, made, right? Like, yes, I I don't think we should thing. provide a platform for words like love jihad. Like, I don't think we should even say that and legitimize that. Love idea. and jihad don't go together. 
I mean, my basic problem is that jihad is supposed That's to be. That's your basic problem <laughs> against love jihad. I mean, you are I'm talking about the term. Of course, the concept is problematic. I mean, come on. Yeah, my basic problem is the hyphen in between the love jihad. <laughs> Could be an M dash. No, but Andre, you were saying something about love jihad. I'm saying it's a made-up thing. Yeah. yeah, like it's not an actual thing that happens, mm. and it's just blown out of proportion by like political actors. Sure. Yeah. I'm saying word of mouth. Word also, of mouth, yeah. it's like such a disservice to all women. Yeah. It's just like they don't have any agency. Yeah. They are just all being tricked and they are gullible and they are right. idiots basically. <laughs> yeah. And anybody is just telling them and they're like, "Ha ha, I'm going to get married. I guess." Uh, yeah. That's fucked. That's just like not cool. Yeah. It just imply that women can't make decisions for themselves right. that are intelligent or informed. Right. Yeah. yeah but absolutely and that's right because love jihad also has like a gender angle to it because it's never that you know oh ladki ne ladke ko yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always the guy always who yeah. has ticked the goal into yeah. believing ki i'll forget everything my family and all and i'll do jihad with yeah, you yeah 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 like, it's really incredible how with one word they have managed to be incredibly sexist and islamophobic yeah like, yeah yeah I mean, the, 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 yeah. the real power of it is that it's made so many people believe that it's an actual thing. Yeah, yeah. like it's not a thing, but so I, I was I was uh, talking to someone, uh, and I think uh, I I want to know if you agree with this, hmm. right? So, for instance, uh, I, I was talking specifically about gender, hmm. right? Where uh, the reason why hmm. a lot of people today have a problem with something like feminism hmm. or is whatever, but men hmm. have a problem is because they are not afraid of equality; they are afraid of the power dynamic inverting. Hmm. Right? Yeah, it hmm. comes from a place of insecurity, hmm. right? Yeah. You know, like where now oh men are ruling women, but then ulta ho gaya to kya? Mm. Not yeah. even inverting, just being on the same level. Like they, they, like men don't want to give up any part of their privilege. Yeah. Like, not we will be less privileged than them. We'll be the same level. Of, doesn't sound right. No, but that's the thing. You know, like I've, whoever I've spoken, like I've spoken to, like a bunch of people who are like, "Oh, feminism is a sham and like militant <laughs> group." Hey, <laughs> whatever. Like, don't talk to these people. <laughs> <laughs> Get these people out of your life. <laughs> Listen, family, se baat karne pa. <laughs> 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 but uh, guys my family is nice <laughs> uh, so the the thing is that they they really uh, it, they also come with the idea that equality is not possible because yeah. because yeah. it's a utopian concept mm. of course to hoga to bas invert hi hoga right matlab mm. the power structure will invert I mean, yeah. if women are in control to kya hoga yeah every month they'll have periods and then decisions kon lega mm. you know, like, mm. i mean all those yeah, are the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah i think it's the same with religion yeah you know where the majority fears the minority not mm. because they'll become equal to mm. them But they'll because the structure them. will they'll yeah. take over. Yeah. They'll take over. Yeah. It's always like that narrative of you know, oh, inka population jada ho jayega. Yeah. 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 You know, oh, unka population kam ho jayega. Yeah. Then you know, uh, yeah. We, our girls will run away from them. That yeah. kind of thing. Mm. So I think it's never about equality because secularism as a concept, I don't think is about equality either. Okay. it's about allowing religions to be practiced freely yeah. and the government not intervening in them yeah yeah right? so it's not about deciding who is more powerful or not yeah. it's just letting them be yeah yeah, yeah. right i think yeah. essentially that so do you agree with this yes 100% hmm? yeah. guys we have to take a short break now and uh, after we come back we are going to reveal the twist in the tale <gasps> yeah. welcome to india yeah <laughs> Oh, the eighth grade. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network, where IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You know, we've been doing this for a couple of weeks, and I think it's working out quite well. If you're enjoying the show that you're listening to, why don't you do this? Pause the show, take a screenshot, and post it to your Instagram stories. Tag us on IVM Podcast and leave us a comment for what you think about the show that you're listening to. We'll post that to our story so that you know, I mean, like everybody can see what's going on, who's listening to what. Also, I have another little announcement. We are finally launching our new version of our Android app. It's going to be out officially and properly. It's going to move out of beta. So, if you are listening to us on the old app, it might be time for you to kind of look for the new one. Unfortunately, it's not going to update from the old app. You're going to need to uh, re-download the app or reinstall the app from the new listing. You'll be able to get the new app. You get a link for that from either the show description of the show that you're listening to, or you could go to our website, and there'll be a link over there. 
So we launched a new show called How to Citizen. It is hosted by policy professional Meghnath S. and comedian Shreyas Manohar. Every episode is a look back at a chapter from an 8th standard civics textbook. The first episode featuring Rohan Joshi is out now. On The Seen and the Unseen is part two of Amit Verma's conversation with historian and author Ram Chandra Guha. They discuss the return of Mahatma Gandhi to India and his involvement in the freedom movement. On the Filter Coffee podcast, Karthik Nagarajan talks to Ramki S., founder of Sports Mechanics India. They talk about how video analysis changed the face of Indian cricket and why Virendra Sehwag dedicated his Multan Triple 100 to Ramki. On Cinemaya, our Hindi film show, filmmaker Aruna Rajay Patil shares one of the most dramatic human stories of love, loss and hope with host Swati Bakshi. On Vartha Lab, Naveen and Akash talk to fellow comic Adar Malik about his background in law and parting ways with the comedy collective SNG. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Hello friends, welcome back to How to Citizen. We are here with Shrishti and Andre. And now we are going to go to my favorite exercise. Okay. True or false? Oh. He's going to trick us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always get tricked. Here's the question. The Indian state is not ruled by a religious group and nor does it support any one religion. True or false? Wow, that was does a good Does not pause. or should not. Yeah, what is the... <laughs> Listen, 8th graders. You have no option. I repeat the question, uh, please. Yes. The Indian state... I feel we are in KBC. <laughs> <laughs> For 7,500 rupees. <laughs> That's all. The, uh, it's still in the beginning. <laughs> the Indian state is not ruled by a religious group and nor does it support any one religion. By the constitution, true. I don't want your disclaimers. I don't want true, your true, 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 true. 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 Ooh. It better be true, man. I mean, yeah, we don't have the true? results yet. We don't know. <laughs> oh, so we, what? so we when do so, we find out? <laughs> there, there is no answer. There are no answers. <laughs> so we're just That's seeing things. Wow. Seeing things, yeah. I need closure, but <laughs> after this. No, it's like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> like again, I think here again, it comes to the point of what do we mean by the Indian state? Do we mean how it's supposed to be or are we talking about the current reality? Like I feel it's, if it's about the current reality, it's definitely... It's a definite maybe. It's a definite, <laughs> it's a definite, maybe. definite maybe. No, but uh, Shreyas, yes. uh, before we went on a break, yes. uh, we, re- you know, wanted to reveal a twist in the tale. Yes. Please reveal the twist in the tale. Oh, no. The twist in the tale... Is, is that Indian secularism is different? Is that Indian secularism is different? Yes. From the entire terminology. <laughs> I had to reveal it. What? I had to reveal it. But Indian secularism is different mm-hmm. than normal secularism. <laughs> Just plain old secularism yeah. is different from Indian secularism. Of course. So, yeah. so the chapter is a little weird, no? Like mm. basically it goes, how you secular, secular, but, but, but Indian yeah. secularism <laughs> thoda sa alag hai. Aisa bhi hota hai. <laughs> but waise generally hota hai, but here, this is what's happening. Or in your words, welcome to yeah. India. Welcome to India. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we have a challenge that if we have a question that if you guys could answer that, nothing like it. Can we find a new word for secularism by the end of this episode? Because I feel it's just so loaded with so many previous definitions that we need to come up with a new word. Oh, this podcast can be historic. Oh, wow. Amazing. So, and that's a great idea. Wait, so are we changing like the word secularism or Indian secularism? Indian 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 secularism. secularism. It should be defined as something. Basically, yeah. So, for instance, I'll just read out the part. Hmm. Uh, It says, uh, according to the constitution, only a secular state can realize its objectives to ensure the following. This is Indian secularism, by the way. (laughs) Yes. That one religious community does not dominate another. Mm Mm-hmm. That some members do not dominate other members of the same religious community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That the state does not enforce any particular religion nor take away the religious freedom of individuals. That is the definition of basically Indian secularism. But then there is a caveat there which is, uh, do you want to explain the twist? Anyone guys, please. Why am I the only one hyping up the twist? Oh, do we, uh, do we know the twist? What is happening? Yeah. The lie, lie, lie. No, but then... the difference of the Indian secularism versus the normal secularism. How it can basically intervene. Yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't interfere, but it intervenes. Yeah. What are the, what's the difference between interfere and intervene? Like, can you guys give me an... Uh, because I'm curious myself, I don't know. What, I'm... how do you interfere would be maybe stopping something and then changing it yeah intervene yeah. would be like, hey, don't do it like this do it like this <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I think they use the example of untouchability to yeah. explain it yeah. and they are like if it is impinging on someone else's right to hmm. 
practice their religion yeah. or just live their life right. then they get to intervene and say no you can't absolutely but otherwise they don't get to call the shots on mm. how you choose to practice your isn't but isn't that secularism everywhere mm. like protection of religious right and re- like practice uh huh so but that is what essentially they are saying that when separation of church and state is what they are talking about it's completely separated right. but in india that can't happen because there are so many religions which have some shit practices uh, yep. okay. which violate human rights and the caste system yeah, Ooh, yeah. that yeah. lovely thing uh, hmm. untouchability so they have given an example of untouchability as well yes. but there is a very recent example you must have heard of it sabrimala Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like it, that was one more instance of this, right? Okay. Where uh women were not allowed to enter the temple. Mm-hmm. Right. So Supreme Court had to intervene and say that cut the, the crap. This dumb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this shit right there dumb. Yeah. Let's exactly. <laughs> not continue that. <laughs> exactly. And uh that is where the women's right not to be discriminated mm-hmm. came before the religious right of Yeah. Oh, it's like don't. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is the difference between Indian secularism versus other yeah. secularism, yeah. right? Yeah. At, at least according to the book. So right? it sounds like a good thing. It is a good thing. I think it is a good thing because uh, if if that did not exist, then untouchability would be there. Women would not be able to enter Haji Ali also yeah. and Sabri Mala also. And uh, well, I just leave the houses mostly. Mm. Yeah. And and m- female mutilation would be a thing. Yeah, yeah, that would be a yeah. thing. And uh, like so, so many practice triple talaq. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. One, yeah, right, right. That would be also a thing. So right. uh, again, the, I think it's a very important sort of uh, concept, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's misconceived in a lot of ways. It's okay. twisted. It's twisted. It's a little twisted. Yeah. yeah. Basically, the definition of secularism, the popular definition, which is doing rounds, mm. is that. majority is you know losing majority and minority is gaining and becoming majority mm. right and secularists or secularati <laughs> they are the ones secularati, secularati. that's a glamorous term yeah. cousins of illuminati <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are the ones ensuring all this okay. right and there is a global conspiracy guys oh, wow. uh, where uh, the holland is also involved in this of course, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> what spider man <laughs> no Oh, Frank was. Yeah, oh, that not guy. Tom Holland. Yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. अरे वो हॉलैंड है हॉलैंड है. वो जो रफली का डील कर रहा है. वो वाला. रफली वाला. रफली. रफली वाला हॉलैंड है. वो वाला जो है ना. Okay. उसके बारे में बात कर रहा है मैं. So uh, again, uh, there is an amazing comic, hmm. right? Uh, and uh, uh, do you want to describe it, Andre? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's read it. Let's assign characters. Let's be. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's, let's be uh, the people. Yeah, table yeah. read. Let's table read. Okay. I am the government. Uh, okay. I'll be the, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the narrator. Okay. 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 So we are in a government school. The scene takes place in a government school. In a government school in Simapur, mind okay. you, students want to celebrate a religious festival. Right, so a bunch of students are gathered around chit-chatting. An old man is creepily staring at another child for some reason. Yeah, we would. And another, there's another man yeah, staring, staring at, child. at a child. But <laughs> but you might be her father. Hey, that got yeah. real creepy real yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay, no. Uh, but it's a nice gathering. Okay, so one child says, "Sir, there is a big religious festival next month. We've never celebrated it in school. Can we do it this year?" I am afraid that isn't possible Rekha this is a government school we cannot give importance to any one religion this was the response of the teacher private schools may do that government schools don't celebrate any religious festivals in the school premises most Ooh. religious festivals are public holidays so that we can celebrate these at home <laughs> the teacher <laughs> Just root TBH. <laughs> yeah, but he was very matter of fact, and I kind of respect. Yeah. The teacher was quite verbose with his explanation, <laughs> clearly. But uh, the children are now discussing the impact of the statement they hmm. just heard. Hmm. I never thought of it this way. I guess we can always celebrate it outside school. Yes, uncle. Anyway, we were planning to celebrate it in our locality, so I guess it's chill. So why did you ask about celebrating in school? 
<laughs> no good. child has ever made peace this fast like with so quickly any authority telling them to do anything <laughs> i want to do this thing no okay the <laughs> <laughs> spirit is broken okay did it ever happen as a kid that some adult told you something and your response was i never thought of it that way <laughs> yeah, i would never see yeah, their perspective basically oh, the panel where he gave this verbose explanation should be baksala nikal gaya chale but yeah so the uh, comics are amazing here uh, uh, as you must have seen and as i pointed out these are very detailed comics because these are 100% d- not indian people also because nobody in india expresses themselves so well within a close circle that's true in a like government people, school yeah in a in Seema Pur. which teacher has mm. ever given you like th- this solid an explanation about something so deep <laughs> i know basically what the teacher is trying to say that government schools cannot promote a particular religion yeah. mm. so as a result they cannot promote a particular yeah. um, festival hmm. but so that's the thing so you guys went to private school yeah so you oh, had no, I, didn't. I actually i went to a government school but i went to a jesuit school i was in an all boys jesuit school in uh, yeah so okay. there's like a lot of so a lot of these things for instance since it was a jesuit school there was mass uh-huh. on like certain occasions but we did celebrate like christmas so diwali and school, like a bunch so your your school must be run by a trust then possibly yeah. but it was a government i paid barely anything to go to school so it was a government school Maybe it was like that- a public school Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Mm, yeah. Because uh, from my understanding, the essential difference is that when it's a government school, you can't do it because it's a public funded money, yeah. and the government cannot spend money on any religious activities. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, interesting. Public okay. to money. distance itself yeah. and not to interfere and all itself. of those. But mm-hmm. there is a loophole there because mm-hmm. you've heard of Kumela. Yeah. yeah, Kumela. So the Kumela, uh, the UP government is promoting it now with taxpayer money, right? Mm-hmm. So. the logistics of the event which is like uh, venue acha hai security hai sab kuch acha hai pani saaf hai lol but <laughs> like, a lot of other people and like bahut sara crowd aayega but we will have fun hmm. uh, you know all that stuff yeah the government can do that uh, because it's logistics and they're not promoting religion there because it's basically a public event hmm. where they are allowed hmm. to spend money on hmm. so, which is a weird distinction i'm still trying to wrap my head around it this is hmm. a fact i recently learned i okay. think there is something in this chapter about how the the state can take that type of a call mm-hmm. where it gives preferential funds to like a community or a religion for their betterment uh okay yeah 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 there is there is one like point like it can allocate there. funds yeah. for them to prosper prosper but 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 that's my thing like I, from the way i have, that's that's my essential also problem with this not problem but confusion with this chapter and i'm trying to clear it uh getting very less answers but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but th- th- that's my essential problem when you're saying that you know a government cannot promote one religion or the other why are you saying it in the later chapter that ha ha they can spend money to promote like yeah. basically for another religion right that doesn't make any sense hmm. it, it's also I mean so like in school in general you had a class that taught you mm. like it was a class called religion for mm. us mm. what yeah you But had a class called religion it gets worse um <laughs> it was religion and morals religion uh, okay. was for all the catholic students <laughs> and morals was everybody else. <laughs> including parts of christianity There are not Roman Catholics. Like the oh. Protestants were sent there. Whoa! Yeah. So I'm saying my school's weird. <laughs> <laughs> they so did whatever they wanted. <laughs> like I'm like, where is this? I don't get what you're saying, church and state. What's happening? No, but that's what, that's why I say, think you should check this, and you know we should talk about this later again. That whether it was run by a trust. If okay. it was run by a trust, they can do that. Oh. That's essentially it because if <laughs> then doesn't it become a private school? It is a private school. Okay. I mean, technically, if you are a trust, so for instance, tomorrow yeah. I want to start. I want to adopt pasta ferianism. You know pasta ferianism? You eat lots, you eat of, lots pasta. of pasta. Yeah, I and my I worship the flying spaghetti monster. Nice. That's a real religion. I feel like he's made it up. He's no, dedicated his seriously. life to it. Yeah. <laughs> in Germany, in Sweden, and in France, I think uh, it's a legit religion. Okay. Oh, Check yeah? it. Flying spaghetti monster. Wow. Uh, so if I want to start that, and uh, I can't go to the government and say ki ek uh, higher education sources laga do. ताकि ये मेरे पास आए एंड आई कैन प्रमोट माय रिलीजन आई कैन डू दैट शिट ओके बट आई कैन फॉर्म अ ट्रस्ट लाइक योर स्कूल आई गेस एंड स्टार्ट अ स्कूल वेर आई जस्ट टीच हाउ टू मेक स्पगेटी 
Mm-hmm. Because that's all they need in life. <laughs> right. I'm so, not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. Right? It Unless sounds it turns into an RSS shock. <laughs> so, like, yeah. In that one specific case, yes, I like it. But uh, not in other when variations. When it's pasta, everybody's yeah. happy. But what happens if that's imposed everywhere? People just eat a lot of pasta. Um, so that's the thing. How can you impose it? I will be the one imposing it. So right. I have pract- I have freedom to practice and propagate it hmm. as so a like, citizen. Mm-hmm. So like a missionary, you go everywhere. And yeah, like, and do this. with like spy- flying spaghetti monster, red yeah. sauce, white He's sauce. But within, yeah. but within that, I feel there will be fights. Like the pesto people, the Alfredo people, and, and it's gonna you, get ugly. Then the religion develops into sex. Yeah. yeah, like you go like there's yeah. Like he looks Different. like a red sauce guy. Mm. I can like be a... the wet, white sauce guy mm. yeah, And you can fight over who you want And hey, I'm a girl this? so I'm pink What sauce. is this trying to decide my religion <laughs> On the basis of my looks huh? I don't like this at all It's not secular at all <laughs> Okay moving on From pasta to, That got out of hand yeah, yeah really got away from this To basically uh, the, the second way in which Indian secularism works To prevent the above domination Mm-hmm. Is through the strategy of non-interference. Yes. This right. is where this is what it was. Right. This means that in order to respect the sentiments of all religions and not interfere with religions, religious practices, the state makes certain exceptions for particular religious communities. Yeah. Right. So there is a comic after this. I'm just uh, going to let Shreyas basically describe it. Yes. They will not immerse do, us. Immerse, yeah. <laughs> In this comic, there are two people on the road. They're having a conversation. There are only two frames. It looks very heated. And uh, the description is that a group of friends who have recently bought scooters are meeting to go for a ride together. They've just recently bought the scooters. Okay, remember I that. that the first time I read this, I didn't know they were friends also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Group of friends. Two yeah. people. Group. Two people yeah. group. Yeah. Yeah. One guy is wearing a black leather jacket and a helmet that covers his face. And the other guy is a Sikh guy. Uh, so the guy wearing the leather jacket. Why did you describe his clothes also? But yeah. he's also wearing a nice jacket. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just not black. It's a yeah, good jacket it's, though. It's a, it's a brown jacket. It's a, it's great a brown jacket. jacket. Yeah. A brown jacket doesn't really come across in a black and white uh, printout. <laughs> That's oh, I'm just going for it. Budget come here. Yeah. Uh, do you wanna play characters? I'll play. I'll play the black. Uh, uh, or you wanna play the black leather guy? Do you have any? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, First of all, I would like to say he looks really like angry. Yeah. <laughs> you have to bring that to the character. I play the Sardar. Yeah. <laughs> but he's talking. Okay. Hey, I hope you have a helmet. You know, the law in Delhi requires that you wear one. Why aren't you wearing a helmet? Do you want to be fined? Oi, don't worry, oi. <laughs> awful. I will not be awful. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Stereotyping may chalega. Kya yaar? Not in an episode about secularism. <laughs> Try again. Try okay. one more time. Don't worry. <laughs> I will not be fined. Now he's from Canada. What yeah, now he's yeah, he's just. Uh, hey, Paramjit. Why won't you be fined? <laughs> For six, wearing a pagdi is very important part of our religion. The government cannot force me to wear a helmet. Schooled. Bas- <laughs> Schooled. Yeah. Schooled. Yeah, uh, so uh, the essential thing that this comic is teaching us is what? The know gov- your rights. <laughs> like the state makes <laughs> certain the thing concessions. It's teaching you. If it's a religious yeah, like thing. This comic actually explained it pretty well. I didn't understand what the paragraph before it said until yeah. I read the comic. Yeah. And it actually, uh, angry illustrations aside, was pretty informative. Like, it's it's kind of saying that the state should, in a way, facilitate you to freely practice your absolutely. religion. Yeah, right. absolutely. Not come in the way of it. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. So, uh, the official headgear hmm. of Pastafarianism is a colander. Oh, we're back. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> As a trainer, guys. Trainer. Oh. Ah. Like, oh. pasta trainer. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's the official headgear. Okay. So you can wear it, right, everywhere. So like, uh, it, do you practice it? Because it seems like you're he already. A lot he's selling it. us on the he idea. Are you going to convert us right now? I'm Listeners, in. Because, I'm in. Yeah, I'm it's happening. Totally in. <laughs> Listeners, we are starting the church of pastafarianism on this podcast. I'm going to buy a chhanni right now. I'll just go out of here and buy one chhanni, and I'm sorted. So, uh, like the Sikh is allowed to wear turban. Hmm. If I practice past the feminism, I'll be allowed to wear a colander everywhere I go. Of course. Okay. So uh, Sikhs are also allowed to carry kirpans, by the way, mm-hmm. which yeah, are, are I think six it. inches yeah. in in size, and uh, they can carry it in airports and mm-hmm. wherever because right. it's a religious. Right. Religious. So that is the difference between interference and 
intervening right. which, which which you know yeah so uh, essentially interference would be not letting them do any of this hmm. you know hmm. not letting muslims wear skull caps not waiting you know basically differentiate yourself according to your religious practices yeah right and intervening would be when human rights are being violated yeah then the the state government says, the government says comes in or the court comes in hmm. and says yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we reach to the uh, end of basically <coughs> chapter the chapter where I'm going to read a portion of it the Indian state is secular and works in various ways to prevent religious domination for sure for sure <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Indian constitution guarantees fundamental rights that are based on these secular principles. Hmm. However, this is not <laughs> to say that <gasps> there is no violation of these rights in Indian society. Right? Just take it with a mean, salt. What yeah. do you mean? Indeed, it is precisely because such violations happen frequently that we need a constitutional mechanism to prevent them from happening. The knowledge that such rights exist makes us sensitive to the violations and enables us to take action when these violations take place. Hmm. So essentially, what they're trying to tell us is hmm. that you hmm. log secularism ka meaning of secularism, you right aega. Hmm. And then try to fight according to your rights and yeah. then prevent these crappy things yeah, that know are your happening rights. around. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. basically know your rights. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And uh, I think that ends on a great note, I feel. Yeah. After confusing the 8th graders for... Can know, I... A lot. Uh, uh, if you want to take it from great to horrifying, yeah. just look at the question this next to that. This guy again. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you let us be happy, man? <laughs> There's a question here. And we checked this, qu- this question hasn't been changed throughout like we checked older editions and this question is always there okay. the question says can you think of a recent incident from any part of india in which the secular ideals of the constitution were violated and persons were persecuted and killed because of their religious backgrounds the word recent has <laughs> always been relevant <laughs> it's always topical that's hmm. true that's and it's weird though like you know and plus you know I, it's about it's asking specifically about uh, you know who were persecuted and killed hmm. but if you remove that uh, can you think of a recent incident from any part of India in which the secular ideals of the constitution were violated hmm. right yeah. because of their religious background that's it if you end it with that hmm. on every day on every news channel you will see this happening hmm. of course. where it's it's kind of a tragedy that you know while they are talking about secularism they are actually not talking about the fundamental rights and you know like they are yeah. just like going on and on about this but it's it's terrible and this question is just horrifying though yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it also I mean it leads into this last line right like and enables us to take action when these violations take place yeah is like does it so does the it. thing is they haven't even said if these violations they are like when these violations yeah, when these it's just violations. a matter of time yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, I, I, I want to I want to hear this. If you were an eighth grader right now, hmm. and you had to answer this question, hmm. what would you do? Unfortunately, I would not think too much about it hmm. because of my own privilege. Hmm. I am from a Brahmin Hindu family hmm. with in an upper middle class house, very living very comfortably. Yeah. I would not care about it. I, yeah. I'm I'm seeing discrimination, and I would not think twice of it. Right. That's how little. That's how insensitive I am. I right. probably when I am in eighth grade though. Right. Like I mean, I've learned about all of this. I've relearned a lot of concepts now. Back then, it was just maglo or ah. exam me liklo. Like it doesn't apply to real life. Exactly. Obviously. Then later you are like, no, actually it does every day. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. your teacher would be the one giving you the answer, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I would look up the guide. You look up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it said, that's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but what would you uh, like? That is essentially it. You will answer according to the guide. Then ideally, yeah. Uh, or and just I know ask that, my uh, parents, and they will te- like they will look up on the news what's a recent case, and they'll be like, actually, ye lik do, eh, this is happening. I'll be like, yeah, sure. But and I will not think about it then. Because okay. realistically, when you are in that position, you are not trying to be a citizen. You are just trying to be an 8th grader. You're just trying yeah, to pass an exam. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't really write think an about it. A lot of these of things were just like, okay, it's like I have to, to pass, I have to know this mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I'm done with it, I'll forget about it. Do you think there's a way for you or for students to get, like, how do we get the students to 
care more about the questions or the syllabus or whatever they are engaging with as opposed to just doing it for the marks or is that by just getting them engaging teachers getting who engaged. actually care yeah. about the subject enough to yeah. teach it well yeah. right. and also they are they should the teacher should be equipped enough to right. deal with those questions right. if it ever gets that real did you have engaging civics i had a teachers? really great history civics teacher mukul sir he was great <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing he genuinely cared about democracy india as a secular oh, state nice. he would talk about it a lot and like we would have like discussions yeah. as children which is like unheard of because it's just one teacher comes says right. blah 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 and goes and then you make halla that's yeah. all but he would actually ca- care about like did you understand it mm. what is your confusion this is how it actually should be there are transgressions but this is how it should be like he would like contextualize it and tell us what's happening in the mm. real world so it yeah having better teachers would obviously Yeah. that's amazing though like i need to very rare to find such teachers because mm. i had very. a very bad teacher yeah. right? was your teacher? horrible huh was your teacher i i so i i had like multiple teachers actually right. because they keep changing every year right but uh, there was this one particular teacher i forgot her Do name yeah goler ma'am ever no i did not yeah, so there was this uh, one particular point where uh, i had this teacher who lived really close to the school hmm. right we, we lived in we had a very far away school we had to take a bus and go to that school hmm. okay like a prison hum kitna kitna chal ke gaya tumhe kya pata yeah also privilege also privilege but uh, that that teacher literally lived like two doors down while right? okay. all the students came from far away teachers came she just skipped man she just skipped school <laughs> Like literally, when she was sleepy, <laughs> Swagati ka ghosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. wow! So she, Don't name and shame. <laughs> we'll we'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> so she basically so sometimes, and this happened literally when she would make us read chapters, mm. she would fall asleep, mm. and then she would be like, "Yahan pe kyu soori ho? Main ghar chali jaati hu." And then she left. Hey, you know what sounds like a pretty chill teacher? I don't know what your complaints against her are. So she was teaching us civics. Okay. And I mean, come on. Con- she could i mean it is her right to sleep <laughs> yes yes <laughs> exactly um okay so before we go i yeah. have a last question to ask you guys from the exercises and then as you see yeah. there are exercises in the end uh-huh. uh, but i have changed the question a little bit for you okay like, so to make yeah. it more topical oh, so. list the different types of religious practices that you find in your buzzfeed <laughs> <laughs> That's the change you made <laughs> in your buzzfeed. It's okay. So list the, the different types of religious, religious practices, practices that we find in buzzfeed. Um, you don't have to name people. You can. I mean, I don't even know. Like, exactly. I don't even notice. But uh, like, do you have anyone who act except parents? Hmm. But from your generation, who actively has like religious practices and does it? Hmm. In fact, uh, one of my best friends, mm. um, he's Catholic, mm. obviously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's so obvious. Yeah, but uh, he's he's pretty regular. Like he goes for mass. Mm. Um, I think every Sunday. Mm. Always there for all the feasts. He goes for the novenas. Goes for the rosary. Right. All that jazz. And he's also not of the belief that um, like religion is an absolute, mm. and nor should it impede other. like whatever religions right. or anything like that so like he's why, practicing why does your friend do it then it's his faith faith yeah, yeah. Uh, one part of it is obviously that he grew up with it mm. right parents uh, like influence was very strong mm. and he grew up with it but he liked it <coughs> it makes sense to him he ma- it makes sense yes, to him. Sure. it's something yeah. he believes in right so he did it yeah sure he with it. yeah i even I, i have a lot of friends who just do it because their parents do it mm. and If they don't do it, the parents will be upset. Yeah. Ah. So they have to do it. I don't even think that they believe in it or like have that faith. Right. They They're, think that there is a higher power that mm. is controlling their fate and life and everything. Their parents, that's the higher. Which power. is their parents <laughs> and also another higher, higher power. Yeah. But, the force. Uh, mostly, it's just to ah, the get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly it's just for yeah. parents' approval. Yeah. Like, okay. Not really believing in it. I have noticed now that. Uh, even if people do kind of practice they don't really do it so openly anymore hmm. like i feel like even if some of my friends do actually practice like hmm. not the really close friends but like the hmm. yeah. second tier hmm. periphery friends yeah. uh, <laughs> they won't they instagram do, it yeah they won't they won't instagram it right. they won't like chat about it at the bar right or whatever but they might be you know yeah. practicing like yeah. oh, that that's decent yeah yeah but you know that's the thing like you know uh, when when you uh, 
when you when you look at just the general atmosphere right now uh, there are two kinds of people who go to religious places one mm. is who have faith and one is people who go with people who have faith yeah, you know, yeah. i mean yeah. that is it, right yeah. right and and that is very evident yeah, like, as, as as you also pointed out yeah. there, are, there are like specific but do you think that is uh, that it is increasing now that you know the the imposition of you must practice your religion hmm. is increasing or you must respect your god or you must do that hmm. do you have that feeling uh, uh, i can't say for everybody else yeah. because i no, don't know no but your feeling yeah. my post, i'll i can only talk about my personal hmm. experience hmm. and uh, in college i came out to my parents as an atheist <laughs> i was like uh, i mostly followed Pra- rituals and religious practices because of my grandmother mm. because she used to follow it and I would love spend time like spending time with her mm. so that's why I would like be I would learn all the bhajans mm. and know everything and all really like nobody about it and then I over the years lost faith I ah. grew out of it right. I started seeing loopholes mm. and figured out that it is better to maybe not believe in right, this right. for me right. works out for me personally. and it was obviously devastated because they were obviously really upset about mm. it because they are very firm believers of the religion they practice and mm. they would have liked for me to also be the same right it's just one less thing for them to connect with me ah, about right, right. but they understood oh. so they makes were open sense. to it so makes sense i don't know for me personally it worked out yeah. so they get to practice their religion and i get to practice whatever i want to practice <laughs> which is just my life <laughs> yeah <laughs> just practice my life practice my life <laughs> yeah great um, man name is patches your god mm mm-hmm. mhm Mhm he should be everybody as he I should know. be everybody's god yeah yep. no as a, as a cat owner yeah. i completely understand why a cat can be a god now yeah. i do i mean i i, I mean i told him and i live to protect him so yeah i guess <laughs> right. he's my god no i genuinely <laughs> understand why egyptians worshiped cats yeah. because yeah. they are worth worshiping they, yeah they, oh they, they man oh yeah. uh, <laughs> really the thrill you get when they show you love I know. <laughs> just for they, that one second their minimum reciprocation is like so good it's just Yeah you can chase that feeling forever and uh, deal with a lot of abuse but right. <laughs> oh, I guess <laughs> that's how cats work yeah maybe it's because i have never gotten love from a cat but i'm a non believer i hope it's a safe space to say that but i don't believe you you are an atheist You don't in the religion in, of cats. Oh, like, I don't believe in. Oh, I thought you didn't believe in cats because <laughs> I could show you one like right now. You just go down and there's probably a cat. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. um, I think that was an excellent, excellent <laughs> way to end. What the was episode. the takeaway here? <laughs> Do we worship cats amazing. or pasta? That's yeah. the that's oh, the big yeah. question. The yeah. takeaway here, guys, is that. Uh, intervene and interference are different. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah seems to be different. Also, the other takeaway is that you have a fundamental right to practice your religion unless you are being shitty to other people and mm-hmm. interpret it whichever way you want. Right. Absolutely, interpret yeah. it whichever way you want. So now we will score you because we were secretly your teachers. What? Oh, wow. dun, dun, dun. But I thought we were students sitting near the window. Hey, you can also score us. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like the end of a reality show. Yeah. <laughs> Was this the twist? <laughs> yeah, it's that. Oh boy. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Shreyas, I let me like score you. Terribly. Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah. How did you do on the test? Let me check. Let me make some calculations. Wow. Uh, oh, there were multiple areas to mark us. Oh yeah, there are like eight different sections. I have to like use integration to find out what the final score is. <laughs> Please be fair. He, what I can't make out. Is there grace marks? No. Passing with me. Passing marks. They're just making the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> what you get is uh, you are in the gap between the church and the state. You are in that gap. Okay. You are the one maintaining that gap with oh, both wow. your fingers. And the distance between that is her marks. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. We don't What? use numbers as a this parameter. This is the most unfulfilling experience of my life. I'm going to go out of this room and think I have this crushing burden now <laughs> to keep the church and the state separated. Hey, it is your responsibility. It yeah. is your responsibility. God damn it. And that's because is, we expect is. so much from you, so consider that as a compliment yes. rather than a burden. Yes. yes. Thank you. And Andre, wow. I'm I'm going to score you now. <laughs> oh lord. Can do better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'll go. Report, report I'll go card with. milega. That's always great. You yeah. can always evolve and grow from. Get always your, do better. Get yeah. your parents tomorrow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Because tu to religion mare manti hai. Yeah, that's it. 
और तू मतलब पता ही नहीं कौन सी स्कूल से आया प्राइवेट स्कूल पब्लिक स्कूल सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम गाइज इट्स एस आर आई एस एच टी आई पी ए टी सी एच नो स्पेस इज ऑल लोअर केस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड आई डोंट केयर अबाउट ट्विटर सो इट्स इट्स जस्ट फॉलो मी दैट अंड्रे Yeah, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Literally, just type in my name, you'll find my handle. Yeah, thank you. It's yeah, Srishti Patch again. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> to find me on Instagram, it's at the rate Shreyas underscore Manohar. Uh, don't look at my Twitter; it's not worth. Yeah. <laughs> so follow me on Twitter at uh, Meena Ignar. I don't care about Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's important sometimes. I mean, you know better, obviously. Plug करने दे ना. We'll have this discussion afterwards. <laughs> Okay sorry <laughs> so guys follow me on twitter <laughs> for a more immersive experience i it was uh, at me meghnad m e m e g h n a d and on instagram i am meghnad s m e g h n a d s thank you so much for joining us and i will see you in the next episode with a very fun guest thank you so that was our episode this week Next week join Meghna and me as we talk to stand up comedian Prashasti Singh about why we need a parliament. How aware do you think you are of your laws and rights? Do you look up to laws when you are caught up in situations? Do you know what your rights are when you're stuck somewhere bad? Well, here's a show that can help you move an inch closer to being aware of what your rights are. Tune into Know Your Kanoon with me Amar Rana. This is a podcast meant to answer all your law related queries. Catch Know Your Kanoon every week on the IVM website or the app or anywhere you get your podcast from. Bharatiya Cine Itihas mein mahilaon ki jagah talashta hamara khaas Hindi podcast Cinemaya. Nirdeshikaon ki filmon, kahaniyon aur nazariye ko samajhne ki hamari ek koshish. मैं हूं स्वाति बख्शी और मेरे साथ सुनिए सिनेमाया आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट ऐप और आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट डॉट कॉम आरोप भी